In particular, let's see how it can help with a confined waters plan. A fundamental principle with any planned route is that it should result in the vessel reaching its destination without risk of grounding or contact with fixed or floating objects. A planned route may be based on a generic port passage plan issued by a competent harbour authority. It also needs local and up to date area information that may come from a port authority, VTIS, or a boarding pilot during a master pilot information exchange. It could also be that a member of the crew has local knowledge. This person would often have a pilotage exemption certificate issued by the competent harbour authority. Without detailed local area information, pilotage can very easily go wrong. Local knowledge can be very extensive and includes such things as tide height, which may be different to that predicted based on tidal tables and water flow, including localized currents, the latest water depth data and recent obstructions, the nature of the riverbed. And where hydrodynamic interaction particularly affects vessel handling, where tugs are required, expected weather and vessel traffic movements in the vicinity, and any anomaly within the port that is not found in conventional sources of information. ECDIS can only help plan safe turns when it has correct information on the turning ability of the vessel for its draft with respect to water depth. Here we see the curved path for a vessel traveling at 8 knots. The curve is based on the turn radius of 2,000 meters entered in the waypoint table. The rate of turn of 7.1 degrees per minute is calculated based on the planned speed and the heading difference. If the value entered for turn radius is smaller than the maximum saved in the ECTIS settings, an alert will be given as the route is not possible. We will also see the wheel over point. ECTIS can place a line that is parallel to the next course line through the wheel over point. The benefit of this line when monitoring is that it shows the correct place for the wheel to be applied if the vessel is off track. On ECTIS, the position of the wheel over point can be automatically set. Or it can be set by an operator as a number of ship lengths. This position should always be correct as it allows some time for the vessel to start turning once the helm is applied. If the wheel over point is not in the correct place, it can easily result in an under or overshoot of the turn. Always make sure that the safety contour and safety depth values are correctly entered for the area and that there are realistic cross track limits for root legs. One of the basic calculations is the value for safety depth that represents the minimum depth of water that the vessel needs to navigate safely. It is found by using this calculation. The shallow contour is a line that, if crossed, will always result in a grounding. The safety contour is a line that marks the junction between safe and unsafe waters. The deep contour is a user setting that reflects where the master considers there is always deep water. When four shades are requested, the colors inside each contour are as follows. Inside the shallow contour is dark blue. Inside the safety contour is light blue. Inside the deep contour is blue or gray. And outside the deep contour is white. The safety depth value should always be entered into ECDIS so that spot heights in the sank with lesser values will be detected. Soundings less than the safety depth are highlighted in a bold font and obstructions by the isolated danger symbol. As the sank does not contain all possible contour values, ECDIS will often use contour values greater than those set by the operator. If this is dangerous or inconvenient, it is always possible to add user inserted lines to show the actual safety depth value. Some of these will cause an alert if the look ahead danger detection crosses them. The route safety check usually does not require all detail to be visible on the screen. ECDIS interrogates items in the sink and will alert if it finds a dangerous object. Remember, 
after the geometry and safety checks are completed and any issues resolved, it is advised that the planner sights along the full length of the route, looking for any obstructions.